Friday. It is new moon and Taurus day. And when I tell you I'm so excited for today, I'm so excited for what today brings. I do have a blow dry in 35 minutes. It was supposed to be in five minutes, but I'm running behind and Apple are ringing me and it's just a whole thing. So I'm gonna sit down now, do my skincare, and then we're gonna go get a blow dry because a Friday blow dry is unmatched in my books. No, but the sky right now, it's giving like pink, purple, beautiful realness. Oh my God, hello. This is why no matter where I live in the world, I have to have some form of view, like the mountains, the green, the sky. And this is just from my bedroom. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's so beautiful. Good motherfucking morning. Happy Saturday. I have an almond croissant in the oven. I have my can of white monster extra chilling in the freezer. Like it chills in the fridge overnight. But then when I wake up, I like pop it into the freezer just for like an extra chill. There was a gorgeous Taurus new moon yesterday. So if you're watching this on Sunday, like the new moon energy is still around. Obviously it's not as strong as it was on like Friday, Saturday, but it's still around. So if you're watching this Sunday when I post it, like maybe just take a few minutes to like sit down and think about what you want to create for yourself like if you were your highest self if you were yourself that like achieved all of your dreams and goals what would who would she be who would she look like um i got this new actually this week irish skincare in the in pure so the brand is called sosta and sosta in irish means happy but basically I don't know if I've like talked about this on depth on YouTube, but basically in January, I like pared back my skincare routine because I was like, I'm doing all these things, but I'm still not like, my skin just wasn't a hundred percent like where I wanted it to be. So I was like, maybe it's my barrier, like my skin's barrier that's like inflamed or like annoyed or I don't know. I was like, maybe it's my skin's barrier. So I started only focusing on products that were like repairing and kind of healing my skin's barrier. And this product that I was sent out this week says it protects, restores, and maintains your skin's microbiome. And it like boosts the microbiome of your skin, which is like the bacteria, I think, or like good bacteria or something. But again, I've only started using it this week, so I'm not 100% sure, like, you know, I feel like if you use a serum like one or two days, like you're obviously not going to like see a difference. But yeah, I love support supporting Irish brands. This says, it's fragrance free, um, anti-aging. It gives your skin the ideal pH. It calms inflammation. It protects against environmental aggressors. It boosts hydration and it has no parabens, minerals, oils, silicones, sulfates, and fragrance. So I use that and then I go in with my much adored um, snail mucin essence. It's like snail mucin on your face. And every layer of skincare I put on, you already know we're like fanning it in <laughs> just because I think every layer deserves like a moment in your skincare like I, I give every layer of skincare I put on it's like a moment to like do its thing for my skin I don't just like layer 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 obviously some days if I'm in a rush I do but I like to let each layer like kind of sit for a second and like dry in almost then we're going in with the CeraVe quick easy lotion so this is the moisturizing lotion this isn't like the am or the pm or whatever this is like the basic lotion that you get 236 ml of like it's huge you can use it for your face or your body now you know me i'm not like oh i have this like face and body moisturizer but the cerave moisturizers this one and the am and pm one are the exact same like bada bing bada boom for a while there I was like over complicating my skincare routine and like over like being like I have to most use the most like expensive brands expensive products whereas in 2023 I've kind of been like you don't actually like just because a product's cheap doesn't mean it's bad and just because it, it it's expensive doesn't mean it's good and like I feel like CeraVe and La Roche-Posay and Korean skincare is like really where it's at for me, for my skin personally, like my skin just loves it. Now we go in with my favorite 
SPF, look at this. You know it's my favorite SPF when it looks like this. There's like, I'd say just enough for today left. Um, so I need to go to Boots today and get some more, but it's the La Roche-Posay Hyalu. And it's like this blue and it's a gel texture, which I really like, which is really light on the skin and like plumping, hydrating, gorgeous, stunning, amazing. And then last but not least, the star of the show is of course my La Roche-Posay C Plus Bam B5 Plus. But yeah, the star of the show is the C Plus Bam B5 Plus. I think this has really been helping my skin just in so many ways. Like it helps with the redness, I think it just helps like if you touch your face during the day or if any bacteria, like it's a barrier cream at the end of the day. So it like creates a barrier on your skin so that like nothing can get into it, I think. I think that's what a barrier cream does. I don't know. But yeah, so we just moisturize all of this in. Glowing from within. It's giving bouncy, dewy, hydrated, healthy, plump. Skinimalism is well and truly in. Like I have never been using less skincare products and my skin is so grateful for that. Like my skin is like bestie about damn time that you <laughs> figured this shit out. I got a blow dry yesterday and when I've been getting my blow dries recently, I just get like a really sleek, straight blow dry because if I wanna do a bouncy blow dry, I can do it with the Dyson. I still do love the Dyson. It's just sometimes I don't feel like washing my hair. And my hair is just getting like so long. Like every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh my God, my hair is growing like wildfire. Like it feels like it's growing so fast. Now I am taking these absolutely every day. Um, and I've been taking them since like December. So I've been taking these every single month, the JS Health Hair and Energy Vitamins. So I do take them like every single day. Right, okay, I'm setting up for the meeting I have about the thing that I haven't told you about. Why does it look like a feckin' witchy date? <laughs> I have moon cards out, because we're gonna draw moon cards on the thing. I did chips and guac and salsa and potatoes and Kinder Bueno happy hippos and some water and then there's like energy drinks in the fridge. <laughs> when this thing is launched, it will all make sense as to what I'm doing. But for now, it doesn't make any sense. And I'm like, part of me is like, should I tell the YouTube fam? But I don't really want to. Um, maybe in next week's vlog. It'll be soon anyway. But yeah, just getting ready for my meeting. I'm excited. It's not really a meeting. It's like chilling out, chatting about something. Um, so yeah, I'm very fucking excited. The person's on their way now. And yeah. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. I'm so excited. Ah! Good motherfucking morning. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I always feel like I'm so up and close with this camera. Like you only see my head and my shoulders. And I'm like, hello. You know, I never go. <laughs> The real reason I never go this far back from the camera is because I don't have, like, vision. Like, I don't have 20-20 vision. I wear contacts. So, like, I don't wanna be trying to squint and see myself in the viewfinder. Anyway, it is a beautiful, gorgeous Sunday morning, but it's not actually beautiful or gorgeous. It's cloudy and rainy. Not the vibes. Not the vibes. I haven't even... I'm just awake. I'm just awake, I'm just alive. I want to go to this gym. <laughs> Is it gonna rain all day? You're on your phone with your girlfriend. She's upset. I've had a really good week. Oh my God, I have to update you. Will I update you? Hold on, okay, I have news. I have news, I have news, I have news. And I was gonna keep this news for the vlog next week, but I'm actually just too excited and I just have to tell you about it. So. Now they're all comfy cozy. You all know me, okay? I am obsessed with Skims. I have Skims underwear, I have Skims bras, I have the Skims pajamas, I have the Skims tracksuits, I have the Skims tops. 
I have a lot of skims. I have a lot of skims items in my wardrobe, which is very exciting, honestly. And to be honest, it's a brand I love. I have the skims dress. Oh my God, how could I forget? Sorry, there's literally sleep in my eye. Why are you sleeping? <sighs> anyway, I have the skims dress. Like there's just a lot. There's, I love skims, I love skims and I will shout up from the rooftops forevermore. The sizing is so inclusive. I love the styles, I love the colors. Everything has a stretch. Anyway, safe to say, I nearly shot my pants during the week when I got an email from skims. Skims emailed me, they wanna send me bras and they want me to do a TikTok video of the bras. I swear to God, when I woke up with the email, I woke up with the email. The email reached me at 3.13 a.m. But obviously at 3.13 a.m. I was sound asleep. But it's just so wild. It's just so wild. So 3.13 a.m. they emailed me and they were like, hey Rebecca, this is the Skims influencer team. I thought it was a lie. I thought it was a fake email. I thought it was fake news. But upon investigation and seeing that the email was literally from at skims.com like I actually nearly died skims is going to be working with me I am going to be working with skims and this is just the fucking beginning do you know what I mean this is just the beginning this is just the beginning so I had to tell you this news in the vlog in my local shop which I don't like vlogging in for obvious reasons they have monster out here but they also have freezing cold monsters in a monster fridge and it is my favorite thing in the world and one day i will have a monster fridge just you wait do you know what it might be cloudy but at least i got some fresh sourdough and some fresh eggs local fresh eggs support local i got local sour bread sour bread no <laughs> i got local sourdough and local fresh eggs I know the last few times I went to the gym, I told you I was going to do a sauna and I lied to you and I'm sorry about that. But this time I am, okay? <laughs> I want to sit in a sauna and sweat. Please, thank you. I got the goods. <laughs> I got a fresh, icy cold can of white monster, which is so exciting. Do you know what, if that shop ever closes down, not that I want it to close down, but for some reason, if it ever does close down, I will buy their Monster fridge off them. Do you know what, I actually don't even need to say that because I know one day Monster Energy, I'm getting closer and closer and closer every day. I'm getting closer and closer every day and I'm almost there. Anyway, I'm so close to white Monster Energy or Monster Energy sending me a white monster fridge with monster now. I know I am, I know I am, I don't make the rules. So anyways, we're making some eggs. I haven't had eggs for breakfast in a while. I don't know why. I actually said I'd take this time and opportunity while I'm waiting for my eggs to cook to talk about my hair. Because look at her. My hair is actually growing like wildfire. My hair is growing so fast and it's getting healthier every day, every second. Like, if you've been following the hair journey, I think my last hair update was when I wanted to cut all my hair off in like January. My last specific hair video was when I wanted to cut all my hair off, because I was like, it's dead, like there's no saving it, yada, yada, yada. Thankfully, on that day, my hairdresser did not cut off all my hair, because look at the inches we are getting. Like we are well and truly past shoulder length. Like I always said, like I'll feel like my hair is long when it's hitting the top of my chest. And it actually does now, like it hits, my hair is currently hitting the top of my boobs. So I just wanted to kind of do a little update. Like it's actually, like every time I look at it in the mirror, every day I'm like, oh my God, my hair is growing so fast. Like it's actually getting longer and thicker and like, we do have a little ombre moment going on because I just actually, if I sit right in front of the window, the lighting's probably better for this. Basically what I've decided to do with my hair, you can probably see here, maybe you can't in the lighting, but there is like maybe two inches 
of root at the moment. So the two inches of root is where my brown hair, my natural hair color is coming through because obviously all the color on this is artificial because it was blonde. So you have to like dye over the blonde to make it dark brown. And when I went dark brown, I was like, just put me the darkest possible because otherwise the blonde keeps coming through. So I was like, we're gonna be like really, really dark brown. But what I've decided to do now with my hair, because I've got to a point where I think all the blonde is covered and I don't mind the, I think it's summertime as well. So like the wear out kind of looks like sun kissed and beachy. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I basically decided that I don't want to be a brunette with roots. Like, I think that doesn't make sense to me. I don't have gray hairs. Like my natural hair is dark brown. It's not like, a, like it's a shade of brown that I like. I just haven't seen it in a few years. So, um, what I'm doing is I'm letting my roots grow out, which will look a bit funny at the start. Like, I don't think you can really see when I'm sitting here. Having roots as a brunette doesn't make sense. And my hair is growing fast anyway. You can kind of see here. So at the top, but anyway, so my hair is going fast. So I just want to kind of update you on what I've been doing like really, really quickly. So this isn't like an ag, <laughs> this isn't an ad segment of the vlog, even though it really does feel like it with me like sitting all here and all proper and talking about my hair. So what I have been doing, like you can just tell, like it's growing. It's growing so fast or else, I don't know. I feel like I woke up and I was like, oh my God, my hair is getting long. Anyway, you know the goal. The goal is to have it to my ass, like my actual ass, like my ass crack. Like I want it like swinging. Like I want inches, like inches and inches and inches. So by next summer, I want to have like long, beautiful, thick hair. I think my hair is beautiful at the moment, but I just want it thicker. So what I've been doing for my hair is, you know me, the shampoo and conditioner I always, 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 always use is the Wella, um, fusion so I'll link everything below because I don't have everything here to show you but the Wella fusion shampoo and conditioner and mask I use rosemary oil once a week just like in all my hairline and my scalp like just throughout my scalp I just massage the rosemary oil in I take JS health hair vitamins every single day even though they won't send me free ones anymore but it's fine whatever um, JS Health Hair Vitamins are actually really inexpensive and they're so good and they're Australian so they're all natural which I really like so I take and they're hair and energy and you can get like different ones like you can get hair and energy you can get hair and libido depending on what you need I just get the hair and energy ones so I take them every day I brush my hair with like a paddle brush and I've also been using that Kerastase night serum now i didn't think it was working when i started using it i was like this is actually just a gimmick but then my hair like slowly over time was getting like shinier and glossier so look at the shine like i don't know can you see the shine on my hair right now anyway so i thought the kerastase thing was a gimmick because i was like i'm not when i'm putting up my hair like it's not making my hair like super soft like straight away or anything like that but I realize now that like, if you put in a serum and it makes it really soft straight away, it's probably full of silicones or stuff like that. Like, you know, whereas this nighttime serum, like over time, my hair was just getting shiner and glossier. And my hairdresser said it to me, she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I haven't changed anything, only that Kerastase serum. And then she was like, well, it must be working so, cause I had told her, I was like, oh, I don't know about it. Like, I don't know, was it good? But yeah, I'm big. Do you know what? Part of me is annoyed that none of this is sponsored and I'm not getting money from promoting any of these, but honestly, these are all the things that work. So let's go through it again really quick. Wella Fusion Shampoo, everything's gonna be linked in the description box. I don't know if any of you read the description box on my YouTube channel, but sometimes if I feel like it, I do put links in there that of like stuff I mention or whatever. So Wella Fusion Shampoo Conditioner Mask, Kerastase Nighttime Oil, Rosemary oil once a week. I was using almond oil. I'm not really using that as much anymore. Um, for no reason, I just haven't done it in a few weeks. I do it every now and then. So I mix the almond oil and the rosemary oil and like massage it into my head and leave it for a while. I have one of those scalp massager things that I use in the shower and when I put in the rosemary oil. I have my Dyson, which I use. I get blow dries. I only get blow dries or use my Dyson. I don't use excess heat in my hair. I only use heat in my hair about once a week, maybe twice at a push. 
and I use the JS Health Hair Vitamins and yeah, if I've forgotten anything, I'll write it down, but my hair is growing quickly, it's thriving, it's healthy and I feel like if I compare my hair now to my hair in September, like the difference is like a complete 180, like my hair has done a complete 180. It's so gl glossy, it's so shiny. So if you're going through your hair, if you've bleached your hair and you've decided I'm going brunette, I'm gonna save my hair, you might not have to cut it all off. I also have been getting treatments. I've been getting the liquid hair, which I actually haven't gotten in a while, so I might get that soon again. The liquid hair treatment is so, so good. It like returns your hair to virgin hair or whatever. And I was using K18 a little bit, like not too much. Um, but I think K18 when I was bleaching my hair is was better. I think when you've, if your hair is not, if you're not actively bleaching your hair, I don't know how it works. So that's the hair update. You're welcome. If you don't put a drizzle of honey over your eggs and toast, to be honest, I think I overcook my eggs slightly, but Okay, gorgeous girlies. I'm going to finish my breakfast. I'm going to journal in both my journals. So yeah, I'm going to go enjoy my Sunday. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go to the sauna. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm feeling like myself again. My personality is back. We already know that from last week. My hair is healthy. Things are looking up. It may not be blue sky and sunshine outside, but things are looking up.